right, you guys, it's elevated here. And uh, in this video, I'm pretty much decided I'm going to be spending the whole time responding to uh, Michelle Taylor's comment on one of my other videos. Um, it's a pretty long one, so we'll get right into it. Um, so she starts off with, what are your thoughts on Levette's words regarding us being in the mind of a child or in the mind of God, for lack of a better term? Um, so like, I've actually, I've, I've, I actually entertain like a lot of different notions myself. Um, basically what I do with those, like what, what essentially, like what, if this were true, how would it fundamentally change your behavior or how you interact with the world is my question. Um, because essentially what I've done is I've looked at most of the major religions going on right now and how they talk about how to live life. And they all talk about pretty much the same thing. And this is kind of like a theory I have is like, you, if you follow those steps, um, you can live in a way that's pretty, that pretty much gets you um, gets you by no matter what the circumstances of this universe is. Like, whether or not this universe is a test or a joke or um, some kind of purgatory or some kind of, like, uh, little heaven puzzle or whatever, you, whatever it might be, essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to behave in a way with like grace in a sense that like it's almost like okay so if we go with the the typical biblical heaven and hell like i want to live with such grace that i'm like 99 percent sure i'll get into heaven but at the same time if how should i explain this like, if if it is deemed that I do belong in hell, like, I'll accept that with grace as well. As much grace as I try to live my life with. And that's a pretty radical notion in, in and of itself, but it's like, I'm, I'm just, like, I just want to, I'm just trying to live as as close as possible to what I think and feel intuitively is quote unquote the right way to live. And to me, it's, 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 it's less about like what you believe in or what you do in life, like your career. It's more about how you live your life, how you, how you improve the lives of others around you. That, that is more, um, more important to me, I would say. Um, yeah, it's not about what you do, it's how you do it. Like, you could, um, yeah, essentially. Um, but as far as being in the mind of a child or in the mind of God, for lack of a better term, like, yeah, there's these ideas of, like, the Godhead and everything and us being, like, in a dream or whatever, but again like what does that change about your your fundamental understanding of how you should be living your life um because it, it, even if it is a dream like you're stuck <laughs> like we're we're stuck in these bodies aren't we like <laughs> you you go to sleep and you wake back up in the same body hmm huh? So, like, what is, and, and what is, like, what is, what is the purpose of, of a dream anyways? Like, dreams have different purposes, um, you know? Um, being in the mind of a child... I, I, in some ways, I could see that because, like, in some ways, you could see flaws in this reality um, from certain perspectives. But again, like, whether you think this is a flawed reality or if it's a 
perfect reality, just in some twisted way, um, does it change what you're trying to do in this life? <laughs> um, and we'll get into that one, because you actually said something else that I, I do want you to be wary of. Um, so you said there are a few people that say things that resonate from time to time, um, which it, which, yeah, makes sense. Cause like that's, that would be like your intuitive sense going off. And this is where you really have to like train yourself in like learning that intuitive sense because it'll go, especially if you're untrained, it'll, it'll, it'll resonate because people are saying like some truths, but then you, you, you either get like blinded by their ego or they do some stuff where it's like they're only dropping like 10% truth, but you're gobbling up at like at least 50 to 60%. So that's why I want you to be careful because you, you said and all of a sudden you find yourself realizing, well, at first they resonated. And the more you listen to their thoughts slash theory of what's really going on, quote unquote, it can begin to feel as if I'm doing something wrong. Um, and this is where it's like, okay, uh, cause like, I'm really hesitant. Cause sometimes it is like, like you're just not like grasping it yet. Other times it's, it, it, it might be like a, a, a silent alarm, like your intuitive alarm being like, Hey, this isn't resonating with me anymore. So again, it just takes practice being able to discern that. Um, but yeah, you said it. It can begin to feel as if I'm doing something wrong because I'm not getting the downloads of info like he or others may. That's, ooh, and this is where it's like, uh, you don't want, you don't always want the downloads. Downloads is where they download software. Uh, this is, this is that egregore stuff where it's like, oh, and all of a sudden you find yourself parroting or repeating the same phrases Anytime I, anytime I hear myself saying something that someone else has said before, I stop. I stop myself because it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's not actually my thought on the subject. Like, I always try to get a new perspective or get a new twist on anything I hear. Um, just to avoid that, that, that download. You, you don't want, I, me personally, um, I try to stay away from, like, groups and clans and cliques and cults and all those social <laughs> things because um well you saw it in men in black he said a person is smart people are dumb stupid <laughs> uh hysterical blah 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 blah. yeah no so i never want to be a part of people i am a person <laughs> so yeah uh uh but at the same time, like, yeah, some people do have, like, like, they're, they're, this is my thing about reality it being so, like, weird is because, like, everything can be true from some perspective, which is why cults are so, like, insidious. And when I say cult, I mean, I consider um, politics a cult, like, whether you're Democrat or Republican, those are both really big cults, they're just mainstream cults. I consider, um, I guess that's like the biggest one you would think. Um, yeah, politics is like one of the biggest cult organizations. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ed, you don't want, you don't want, you don't always want the downloads. <laughs> Like, if it resonates, that that's why I always try to look at things. I take what resonates with me and leave the rest. And when so, at, at this point, the only things that resonate with me are things that either confirm what I'm, my be, again, my behavior, not my understanding, because my, my, I, I'm at the point where, like, I honestly, like, don't even, I don't even really I don't want to say I don't care, but it's like, it's, it's irrelevant to me how the universe, it really works because I'm going to be living as best of a life I can, no matter what. Um, and you actually get this from Sherlock Holmes <laughs> from the actual books, uh, 
where he was like, why do, why do I care if the, if the earth goes around the sun or the other way around? Like, is, is it relevant to my, is it relevant to my work? Yes or no? If it's not, then I don't need it. <laughs> Basically. Um, so I like to entertain like different thoughts if they like challenge any notions where it's like, okay, if the world was like this, then it would put this behavior in, into into question. And then I examine it um, from different ways, and it's a whole process. I, I can't even describe it. Um, so, yeah, you say, I know most of us really feel like something is off so much that I had to walk away from everyone and everything I had in my life. As I type this, I left my ex fiance due to finding out post-8... Or, yeah... Yeah, post 18 years that he was a covert narcissist. And, oh, man, I really feel for you because um, dealing with something like that can really mess up, like, your sense of intuition. And I totally understand, like, you not being able to trust yourself, um, if that's the case. Um, kind of sounds like it because you... you, you because, I don't know, because you say it's like you, you're, you're thinking because you're not resonating, you feel as if you're doing something wrong. And I don't know your situation, so I don't want to say like definitively, but it might be due to the trauma. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Um, so with that, I recommend obviously like getting. Um... Hot. It just sounds so cliche, getting professional help, but, like, in a sense, like, I don't know. Trauma like that, like, you, it, it uh, any of the, like, the, what do they call, like, the, the dark triad, the big three, narcissists, um, sociopaths? I don't even know what they are, um, like, those people can really... The the thing that um, people don't realize is they can do a number on, like... They can do a lot of, like, spiritual damage to you, too. Um, it can... Yeah. Yeah, it can definitely really mess you up. I can totally see that. Um, he said, I never knew what that term meant, nor did I know it existed before. Um, I got to the point that I didn't trust my own judgment because of that. Um, and... The thing, uh, man, the thing about it is, like, it really is a learning experience because, like, you take that and you really do have to, as much as, as hard as it might be, you really do have to go back and look at the points where it's like, okay, so there was this, like, slight little feeling I got in this moment where it's like, maybe that could have been a signal. And doing that tiny, like, minute, like, detail work examining like all things like that that's how you develop your intuition that's how you're able to to be able to discern like your actual intuition versus um other stuff and it is it is it is hard and it is going to especially like given the circumstances it'll probably be a little bit harder for you too but patience is virtue time <laughs> um it's not something that anyone is ever going to be perfect at i don't believe like i'm definitely not i'm always questioning it but that's how i get better is i'm always questioning it but like not in like an anxious type of way in a in a constructive um in a constructive way um but yeah you said anyway the other person speaks about american gods he is a medical sorry medic metaphysical regression specialist he speaks to his higher selves and he speaks about things that literally come to be. Um, so I personally only have one higher self. So when, when someone talks about having multiple higher selves, like it kind of... Uh, I wouldn't say it's a red flag for me, but it's definitely like a caution flag going up that it's like, eh, I don't know about that. But again, I don't know who this person is. And I... I don't really, okay, like, my path into all of this, like, spirituality stuff has really been from, like, the philosophical perspective, so I really do take a lot more of a, um, 
secular approach to these things. Anytime I'm, I'm, I'm looking at something that I'm not familiar with. Um, so, um, excuse me if I, if I happen to have, um, hesitation and, um, skepticism with, with this person. I really don't know them, so I can't say much, but these are just the things, these are just the thoughts that are coming up in my head as I'm reading it. Um, so you would be listening to a video he made a year earlier and whatever is in the video would appear in front of you. Um synchronicity like <laughs> see, my thing with synchronicity is like i've never actually had it myself um it was never uh like people say oh synchronicity is supposed to tell you you're on the right path or something like that like i've i've never had um trail markers or signposts like that for me so I can't really say much on it. Just like I, I don't really, I've only been like Mandela affected like once or twice maybe. Um, so I can't really say much on that either. But yeah, like <laughs> um, it's just like, uh, it, it sounds cool. Like that's really cool. You guys are able to like get all that shit, but nope. Not really. Don't really have much to say on it from my perspective. Um, uh he too is a word person similar to how Lovette speaks about words he doesn't know languages like she does um he does charge people for regressions name readings dream interpretations etc so like again i'm not gonna bash on how someone else decides to live their life um like i'm not i'm not judging at all me personally like i do i do um I don't do much. I do, um, like, like, what is it called? Like energy work, chakra work. And I've never, okay. I've never like, actually done a full service yet, but I, just because I'm always like really hesitant about charging people for it. Like I have, I do other things as well, but it just, it just feels wrong to me to charge for spiritual work. Like I understand, like I need to eat, and all that and other people do so i don't i don't judge them for doing it but it's like if i'm going to do spiritual work i want it to be from my perspective i want to do it with the purest intentions so i wouldn't charge for it but that's just my own personal um choice not saying that anybody who does charge for it doesn't have pure intentions. I'm just saying, me personally, the money would tint, tint it um, in some way. At least for me. Um, anyway, he has said multiple times that, quote, we are in the mind of a child and not everyone will get an egg. Um, I've definitely heard that. Um <laughs> If by egg you mean not everyone achieves spiritual, quote-unquote, spiritual enlightenment. Ugh. Um, such a loaded word. Such a loaded word. And people have so many different definitions of it. People call, like, your first awakening the enlightenment. It's like, come on. <laughs> um, if that were the case, I was enlightened when I was, f what, five or six when I had my first out-of-body experience and was like, whoa, nothing is real. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I definitely, uh, I definitely understand. Like, what I don't understand is people are like, oh, like, spiritual enlightenment is gonna happen. It's like, well, hold up. If it was just gonna happen, why has it been, like, why is it a struggle? Why is it a quest? Why is it a pilgrimage? Why is it all these things? <laughs> If it was just that easy or it just naturally happened. Come on now. Um, so he said, I hope I didn't confuse you. I'm just trying to understand all of this. The subconscious Levette says works off of symbolism because the universe knows symbolism, not words. Um, I 
again, this is probably just coming from a more secular perspective. I would say the universe works... Eh, no symbolism, not words. Yeah, no, definitely. Words are not the foundation of anything. Words were a byproduct. <laughs> um... But yeah, I could see if you if you're the type of person who thinks that um, we are in it in the mind of either a child or in a godhead or something like that, and your subconscious or your unconscious or whatever you're talking about is the actual like reality generation, then in, if if that's what you think, then yes, the universe does know symbolism, not words. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's difficult to be new with all this information to come in and find the accurate symbolism that you need to study and keep around you to ensure that you are not letting your subconscious be manipulated. Um, I hope that makes sense. No, that makes perfect sense. I, yeah, I definitely, when I first got into Levette, um, I dove into that for a solid, like, couple months. Um, and it really helps it 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 like <laughs> it's funny because like now all that information that I got like is pretty much like useless to me at this point, but like I said, that's because i'm I'm like i it's like you stop looking at um your to do list and you just go get it done. <laughs> you stop like trying to plan your day out and you just go and get everything done um but yeah, that's definitely um, finding the accurate symbolism Symbolism you need to study and keep around you to ensure that you are not letting your subconscious be manipulated. <sighs> well, I, I, one really good one, like I said earlier, is like, don't, don't allow yourself to parrot things. Um, that, that really does break up a lot of, like, you, once you, like, start paying attention to when you do parrot things, then you realize, like, how much things, like, actually affect you. Um, um, another thing is, like, um, basically anything, when we're talking about manipulation of the subconscious and, oh, man, do I want to get into this? Um, we'll try, we'll try it, we'll try it, we'll try it as best we can. Um, when I talk about, uh, manipulation, anything that takes you off your path leads to manipulation. So, um, one of the biggest things that we've seen, especially in the past year, not to mention the past, like, five years, six years, um, is, like, this hysteria in the true, true community, where it's, like, you you get all this information where where you're discovering that like the world is more sinister i guess than than you, you you were led to believe and your reaction is to be hysterical about it or your your reaction is like if if this is like a hell reality and getting your egg is supposed to be like um rejoining with um god or waking up out of the dream or doing whatever like it, it all amounts to the same like you can all describe it all the same way and that's like bringing uh the kingdom of heaven onto earth like through your own actions and um like so anything that like like uh anything that, that like the fear sauce that makes you like go crazy, uh, not go crazy, but like just, uh, just paralyzes you in fear or gives you a reaction that takes you off of your path, off of that whole thing. Um, that, that's where the manipulation really lies. So that's why I'm like really confident, I, I would say, in what I'm doing because it's like I know what I need to be doing because, um, again, it's just like, <laughs> whether or not this is like a hell reality or not like i'm i'm gonna be living the same way and i'm gonna be doing the same things like it's just like being being in sync with your higher self <laughs> and the the one higher self um i don't know about multiple multiple higher selves to me just sounds like you have egregores i'm sorry <laughs> like that's what it is to me like if you're if you're why why would why would we talk about 
going back to one, if that makes sense, with with God or with whatever. Um, why would bifurcating your higher self lead you closer to that? Like, that makes no sense. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but like I said, I'm not, I don't judge anybody. This is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to live my life. And that's literally what everyone else is doing is just trying to live their lives the best they can. And it's always, it's that the reaction that you have to say, no, you're doing it wrong. That internal reaction is honestly more of the problem than any other problem going on, I would say. Um, yeah, actually, on some level, it really is like the worst, the worst problem. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Oh, and I did want to go over what I said to you, too, because I did reply in the thread as well. I said, um, yeah, I didn't say I didn't have much to say about the egg and child stream. I hope I said enough. Yeah, so I was like, um, what I've come to understand is that a lot of interpretations of what this world is are simultaneously true on different levels. But it's usually the conclusions people draw from those interpretations that end up being incorrect. For example, nihilism. Nothing matters can be true on some levels. And it can it can actually really be helpful in some ways. You can take that nothing matters so I can take this leap of faith. Or nothing matters so I can have the courage to do this because it doesn't matter anyways. Like you can you can use nihilism productively. Um, if you know how, um, but the conclusion, therefore you can do whatever you want is where things get dicey. So if you, if you, if you take that, nothing matters and you're like, oh, that means I can just do whatever I want. (laughs) Ha ha. Surprise. Don't be surprised when you find out you don't get an egg. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And and then I talk more about judgment and intuition. It really is a double-edged sword. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so I say we are both creatures that were born into this world knowing absolutely nothing. Yet at the same time, we seem to have this extremely subtle connection to whatever truth is called intuition. The the subtle connection is called intuition. Um, So yeah, and I go into more into that, but yeah. That's a, that's one thing about like trusting other people's words. Like I would I wouldn't like even me. Like I wouldn't even like listen to everything I say. I would take everything I say with a grain of salt because every single one of us was born into this world um under the same pretense. Every single one of us was born into here not knowing what is going on, not knowing anything. We 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 were all born children, babies screaming, crying, not able to form Uh, memories or make sounds or anything like that we literally had to start from scratch and every single one of us is raised by people who also had to start from scratch who were again raised by people who also had to start from scratch and so on and so on um so that's my thing is like even if we do come to find out what quote unquote the truth is (laughs) we're probably too stupid and ignorant as it is to even know that it is the truth we've probably already found it and moved past it (laughs) honestly and is it like (laughs) i don't know like it's it's just like um like that's why that's why i try to think of it in a way where it's like it 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 It, yeah. It, like, you, it's like, ooh, let me see if I can think of something on the spot. It's like, hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Like I, it it is it's like focusing on the what instead of the why, or focusing on yeah, like I don't know. 
worrying about how the car works, opening up the engine and looking at the, um, under the hood and in the instruction manual isn't going to tell you how to get out of Dodge, you know? Um, it might help, but it's not going to tell you how to get out. Or it's not going to get you out, you know? Um, but yeah, so like, I, I, I really do recommend like almost like detaching yourself from that wanting to know what the truth is. Um, and yeah, just try to look at, try to look at it as like, you're probably living your life as best you can. Um, try not to spread, um, like, okay. Seven deadly sins. People know about the the biblical seven deadly sins. Buddhism has three sins, I want to say. Ignorance, greed, and hate. And, um... Ah, I forget who that other one was. Uh, One of the other religions, um... Like, their only sin was ignorance. Um... But, um... If you develop your intuition and all that, yeah, you should be able to... Like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, this is probably as far as I'm qualified to, to speak on. Um, if I start, if I start talking any, any more, it's going to be coming out of my ass and it's probably going to be wrong. It's, I've probably been wrong. So we're just going to end this right now. I hope, I hope I've, I've, I've helped you a little bit. Um, yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Anybody else, if anybody, if anybody's like trying to ask um, any other questions like that, I'm definitely open. Um, in the meantime, whew, man. So like, um, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't have anything planned for April. I've been going through a lot these past few months. And, um, I'm surprised I was able to actually do these on time, but yeah, we'll see what, we'll see what April's about. If somebody comments another really good question, um, I'll probably do a video on that. Um, if not, I'll probably start doing a book review, maybe get off, uh, <laughs> get, get, get to working on, um, let's see, either psychology of the unconscious. I've been wanting to go back through denial of death again, cause that's a really good book. Actually, um, someone else, uh, just did a, a a book review on it and i think i wanted to like respond to it in a way so we'll see about that um but yeah just let me know um y'all take it easy